All right, lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, and welcome to the Black Ice mod, a mod which we have never played before. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. If you're not, it basically makes things a lot more in-depth, and that's why I'm very, very excited to play it. It, uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it was, it's also a mod for Hearts of Iron 3, um, which is a game that is far more in-depth than Hearts of Iron 4 will ever be. Um, it's only a shame that uh, I wasn't born sooner to uh, to have played. I suppose I could still play it, but that's not going to happen. Um, so yes, we are here to play Black Ice as Italy because Italy kind of it's kind of, Italy's kind of like a mid power, you know. That like I'm, I'm not, I wasn't going to pick America or Germany or the Soviets because you know it's 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 too big, it's too large in scale. Whereas with Italy, we we can just kind of you know take it easy a little bit. <laughs> I'll be entirely honest. You know, we 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 do have multiple fronts. Um, but, you know, it, it's not as, you know, colossal as the Eastern Front or, you know, trying to, or, or you're even playing Britain, you know, just dealing with the Navy and all that. Oh, my God. Anyway, Italy, with the rise of Bundle of Sticks, Italy has entered a new glorious era. Its forces are currently in the process of adding Ethiopia to the growing Italian, Italian colonial empire, but Mussolini's ambitions do not stop there. Dominion over the Mediterranean has always been Italy's destiny, and a new order of things is taking shape in Europe. When the tidal wave of change arrives, arrives... Italy must find a place at its crest or risk being swept away. Very true. Now, bundle of sticksism, or bundle of sticks, daily bundle of sticksism support plus 0 0.01, nationalist symbol, 5% base stability, 5% conflict support, and 5% division attack and defense on core territory. Il Duce, Benito, Amilcare, Andrea Mussolini is the creator of bundle of sticksism and the bundle of sticks dictator of Italy. Formerly a public control. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Yes, moving on, Mussolini's experience as a Bersaglieri in the Great War made him abandon it in favour of his new Third Way. Taking power in 1922 after the march on Rome, Mussolini's goals are clear, expanding the Italian Empire to match the Roman Empire in size, wealth, wealth and influence. That That is not a goal of, of this series. Um, the whole Roman Empire thing is a bit played out. I'm much more in favour of Greater Italy, you know, Greater Italian Empire. I'm, I'm really not trying to annex France and, you know, Iberia and most of the Balkans. No, I, I do not want that. I just want my Greater Italian Empire and a nice faction. Now, Partito Nazionale Fascista, uh, Bundle of Stixist, encompassing a variety of ultranationalist movements, Bundle of Stixism typically venerates devotion to the state and uniting the people under a strong leader. God, that is uh, the shortest blurb I've ever seen. Now, Vittoria Mutilata, adjusted for a war goal time minus 5%, AI aggressive front behavior plus 25%, special forces minimum capacity plus 60%, Acceptance of conservative, liberal, public controllist, and red diplomacy minus 10 each. Acceptance of bundle of sticks diplomacy plus 10. Our allies betrayed Italy and stabbed us in the back when they broke the Pact of London, indeed. We sacrificed so much blood at the Asanzo for their victory, and they in turn denied us what was ours of our right. Now Italy will take our destiny into our own hands and ensure that justice is done. Too much faith in pieces of paper. Reminds me of a certain someone. Imperial Africano, daily political power gain, plus 0.1. Conflict support, plus 10%. Our African empire inspires and motivates our people. It would want to. Now, Pato da Calio. On the 6th of May 1939, the Pact of Steel was signed. Our relationship with Germany is troubled by ideological differences and conflicting aims. El Duce is extremely wary of German ambitions in Austria and the Balkans. However, realities do change. Spanish-Italian alliance. Franco and the Spanish nationalists are natural allies, unified by religion, culture, and ideology. Together, we could seize Gibraltar and make life very difficult for the Royal Navy. Italy first. Mussolini will never play second fiddle to Schickelgruber. We must heed the lessons of the Roman Empire. Teutonic interference in Italian affairs never ends well. Now, you may be wondering what kind of path we're going for here, because you, you may not have seen the focus. Right? I am going to be playing this straight. Uh, I'm not doing, you know, Mediterranean... Ooh. Yeah. The colors. The co See, I don't mind Italy's color. Italy's color reminds me of the color that you get as the Italian Empire in Kaiserreich. Uh, with Ferdinand of the Third in uh, the Kingdom of Two Sicilies, Bulgaria's color. Bulgaria's color is interesting. I've never seen Bulgaria ever be that color. Yugos is fine. Greece is a fine. Albania is a little bit different. Romania looks like it's actually on life support. That, that sickly color is sickly. Uh, Kingdom of Hungary, yeah, it's definitely different, but I guess it's not too bad. Fellow state of Austria. You know, I'm used to seeing it being grey, but that, that's actually not too bad. Plus, it kind of represents the fact that Kurt Schuschnigg is here now, uh, rather than Engelbert Dollfuss. Yeah, with his uh, Vaterlandish front, so uh, it's not too bad, and you know, kind of puts them close to Germany. Czechoslovak Republic is nice. Republic of Poland, eh, again, widely different color. Um, the, the UK is egregious. The, the UK is always some shade of reddy pink, you know, and they look very close to being Poland's color. Ireland's color is nice. A bit too green, actually. Kind of looks almost like turquoise, yeah. Uh, Denmark's is fine. Norway's Sweden. Finland, that's all fine. Soviet stayed red. That's good. Turkey's, yeah. 
Imperial State of Red, okay. Almost looking like they're red or something. Uh, France is fine. Ooh, Netherlands is a bit, yeah. A bit, bit kind of grapefruity. <laughs> what do we have here? Xinjiang, okay. British Rise again, widely different color. Oh, yeah, I suppose it's uh, Britain's color. Japan. I've seen that color for Japan somewhere before. Not too sure where. Philippines, green. I'm usually that, that kind of light, kind of bluey, chalky, purpley. Don't know how to explain it. Australia. Okay. Almost looks like the terrain. Um, South Africa. You know, a lot of uh, lighter colors. America, of course. It, oh, my God. Green America. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about Green America. I don't know about that one at all. But either way, we are going to turn on historical AI because uh, Black Ice has problems when you go historical. Um, so that is what we will go for. Let's go. We are, of course, back with Techno Balila. The greatest music ever made. Now here we are. So we've got the GFX mod enabled. I'm fairly certain that I'm not running the game on the right version. It says that uh, it's made for 1.12.13, but when I go into Hearts of Iron 4 betas, 1.12.13 just is not there. Uh, that's all fine. We'll go to performance. Disabled unit production for the selected countries. Oh, I see. Actually, yeah, that's that seems like a really good idea. AKA all of South America except Brazil. How do I click to select a country? Okay, can I not just click it like that? That'd be so much easier. I have to do it. Ah, okay. All right, Nepal, Nicaragua. Panama, Phil no, not Philippines. What am I doing? Oh, how, how do I unselect it? Uh -oh. Peru, yeah. Saudi Arabia, I believe. Uruguay, yeah. Venezuela, no, not you. Not you. Paraguay, Cuba. Dominican Republic, Afghanistan, will leave. Argentina, Haiti. Leave you. Lebanon, uh, leave all that for a while. Obviously, not going to touch these. Yeah, Bhutan. Yes, yeah. El Salvador, Ecuador, Costa Rica, Colombia, Chile, Guatemala, Honduras, Liberia, yeah. Now, how do I remove Philippines? Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Civil unit production, yeah. Yeah, reduce research slots. Yeah. Delete the units of all select countries, yeah, do that. Settings. Oh, okay, can't click that for some reason. Interesting. Okay, that seems good. Now, we shall unpause the game. There I am, that's better. Feels so unnatural without the, hearing the wind blow in the background. Now, focus, yes. Let's get cracking. First thing we always have to do.
what do we have? Okay, nice. This is oh, this is looking like a very nice tree indeed. Train the swamp, nice. <laughs> this is the focus called Bolshevism. Not Napoleon, not Chicago, but Mussolini will conquer Russia. No, we will not be doing that. God, no. Alright, Ethiopian war logistics makes the most sense. Now let's see what we have awaiting us. That is a lot of ideologies. Okay. Ah, uh, Galeazzo Ciano's here. Count. Duno Grandi's here. Farinacci's here. Bootlicker. Isn't that the portrait of Douglas Pe or Dudley Pelly? Giovanni Marinelli's here. Cesare Ames here. Paolo Theon de Ravelli. De Ravelli? De Ravel, yeah. De Ravel. What else do we have? Ah, Cherbo's here. Ezra Pound. Roberto. Propaganda minister, yeah, we've got economic minister, political advisor, domestic minister, two domestic ministers, no less, and a propaganda minister. Who are you? You're an economic minister, so we can have two economic ministers. You are a head of intelligence, you are the interior minister, you are the foreign minister. And this is just figurehead, yeah, monarchist, that's fine. Normal civilian fuel. We've got our electrical concern, industrial concern, heavy aircraft manufa manufacturer, aircraft designer, ship designer, tank designer, army equipment designer. We've got our early, we've got levels of mobilization, which actually, uh, am I right about, am I right about this? Yeah, here we go. Here's our economic mobilization. And this is our actual military mobilization. Um, and there's horrific nerfs. Or, not nerfs, debuffs for not being at general mobilization when you're at war. So, unfortunately, we are dealing with all of these negative modifiers right now in our battle against Abyssinia. Foreign volunteers, low standards for the uh, regulars, and basic standards for the officers, three year draft, 1925 age bracket. I mean, realistically, what would I go up to? What's the highest I would consider? How high can we go? 12 to 70, that's outrageous. No. 14 to 65. 16 to 60 is probably the highest I'd go. Not allowed. Female labor regulations. Oh, okay. What does that net us? 2% consumer goods. Weekly stability. Labor home front. Mm, maybe. Normal financial operations. War bonds cannot be downgraded once taken. Oh, okay. Print money, bad idea. Yeah, it's only for 270 days, yeah. Warmonger, nice. Low investment, oh, on education, I see. So we have minimal, low, high, and excellent. Damn, no, no medium. Major restrictions on what, security? Oh, okay. State press. All right, the highest level there. Foreign investors. Most industries naturalized. <laughs> oh, yeah. Centrally planned bundle of sexism. Love it. Go up to that. Limited exports. Ah, I can't go any higher. Actually, yeah, we probably, probably really don't want to. You know, in the mod, that's actually realistic. High tariffs. Nice. What do we have here? That's all. Manager by territories. London Naval Treaty Signatory, Dockyard, I would minus 5%, Navy Intelligence, others plus 1%, Capital Ship, Max Cost, 18,500, Carrier Max Cost, 15,000, Cruiser Max Cost, 80, uh, 8,500, Dockyard Construction Speed, minus 2.5%, we have signed the London Naval Treaty and accordingly are restricted in the size of our capital ships. Quote 90, Consumer Goods Factories, 5%, All Buildings Construction Speed, minus 2%, Factory, uh, Output minus 4%, Dockyard, Output minus 2%, Diddly Opposition Party Support plus 0 0.01. The Duce wants a strong currency. The Sterling will exchange at 90 Liras. This is a terrible decision for our economy. Disorganized industry. Minus 6%. Factory output minus 3%. Dockyard output. Air production capacity per assembly plant minus 2. Tank production capacity per assembly plant minus 2. Our armaments industry is in a state of disarray. Contracts are awarded based on political factors without consideration to efficiency. And production is fragmented and decentralized. I turned on the music actually.
Now, for Delta Prima de Tuto, land doctrine, research speed minus 10%, minus 5% for naval doctrine, minus 15% for air doctrine. Every dictator fears for his life. Mussolini is no different. Generals are chosen for their loyalty, not for their skills. Pop yeah, pop off sacking pisses me off so much. Uh, mountainous cavalry, or mountainous country rather. Mountaineer special forces weight minus 0.5. Italian leadership, minus 5% division attack and defense, minus 25% planning speed, minus 8% max planning, till the opposition party support plus 0.01. Old ideas, old, melten old mentality, and a huge rivalry between our generals. We have to do something about that. Poor Air Force Navy coordination, minus 5% naval bombing, targeting, agility, and minus 5% sortie efficiency. The admirals don't like the rise of the new branch of aeronautica. Rivalry and an old mentality make the collaboration particularly difficult. Winter heating, 2% consumer goods, minus uh, plus 2% civilian fuel consumption factor. Due to the extreme cold, more resources will be needed to uh, will need to be diverted to keep our population from freezing. Was the winter of 35-36 particularly bad? I'm not well versed on the history of Italian winters. Now, I research lots. So this one here, um, so I, I, I could have read the entire like uh, guide for you. It, it would have made for quite the long uh, introductory reading lore video, but I decided not to. So, most of our research slots are in certain locations. For example, you see these two here? These are all-purpose research slots, which means that they can research anything at all. Uh, and not to mention that even if we were driven back to, I don't know, Benghazi, completely lost mainland Italy, completely lost Abyssinia, completely lost the rest of Libya, if we, if literally the bundle of sticks' government had relocated to Benghazi, we would still have these top two research slots. But we would lose the rest of them, because they're... This one is assigned to Lombardia, this one to Emilia Romagna, Puglia, and uh, Piemonte. Not to mention that these four research slots can only research certain technologies. This is for aircraft, this is for naval, naval techs, naval doctrine, this is for aircraft and air doctrine, this is for artillery, t uh, tank techs, and armor, and um, these two can research, like I said, anything at all. So, we begin researching our... Air technology here. As you can see, all the other tabs are locked off, and it's only the Regia Aeronautica that we can actually go into to have a look. Now, what have we got? We've got aircraft engines, which. Oh, yeah, motor jet engines, there we are. Um, light fighters, interceptors, fighters, multi-role, heavy fighters, night fighters, close air support, air recon, light bomber, tactical bomber, strategic bomber, transport, and naval bomber. Wow, that's quite a lot. I simply won't be going for certain techs. I'm... Uh, light fighter I'm going to ignore. Light Bomber, I feel I'm also going to ignore, even though the S-79 is an iconic uh, Italian aircraft of World War II. It has three engines. Uh, one on the, you know, propeller. Yeah, well, one on the propeller. One on the nose of the aircraft and two on the and one each on the wings. Um, but for some reason, it doesn't carry all that much bomb, all that many bombs. It, it's, it's not like somewhere between, like, a, you know, a Heinkel... It, it's, you know, between a two-engine aircraft and a, a four-engine aircraft. It just, I think it, carry, honestly, might carry less than two-engine aircraft. Uh, oh yeah, I'll be going for the, the tactical bombers. Go straight to the medium bombers. For that range. And of course, going for our heavy CAS. Probably ignore heavy fighters. Multi-role, probably ignore that as well, to be entirely honest. Focus on fighters instead. Now, the BA-6... I know I said I'd, I'd ignore the uh, the multi-role, but this doesn't kind of do everything. And the BA-65 is another iconic Italian aircraft, so we'll get it. What did it say? The Breda BA-65 in his attempt to create a multi-role fighter was developed from the earlier BA-64. It can upgrade its flight performance at a cost of liability and upgrade its bomb load. Now, Naval, Naval Techs, and Naval Doctrine. Again, all the other categories are locked off, and it's only these three that we can click into. Might be a good idea to get that. Or perhaps some new ships. Carriers will not be going for carriers. Not with all these islands. Land-based air power should be perfectly sufficient. Uh, now back into that slot. I think I might go for... Um, yes, the submarine hull interwar. Now, this one is for aircraft and air doctrine. I think some air doctrine might be good. Again, doctrines are back to being researched, though you can... Uh, spend 
experience to increase the pace of research just like all times. Don't think there's anything, yeah, I'm not putting my industry into light fighters as limited as, limited as my industry is. Actually, no, some medium bombers, yeah, some medium bombers. Get the medium bombers. This one's for artillery, tank techs, and armor. What have we got? Again, only these three are available. Ah, the forty, the forty-seven thirty-two. Yeah. What do we have here? The forty-seven forty mod thirty-eight. Forty-seven thirty-two mod thirty-nine. And I'm going to assume the forty-seven forty is better, because it's got a. I, w I would presume it's better. Yeah. Yeah, this one is so much better. <coughs> oh, excuse me. No, then there's this. Ooh, the 7546. Based on the aircraft, anti-aircraft gun. And I don't think the barrel was that long at all. Ah, then the Italian 90 millimeter, and the 12855. Uh, yeah, I think that's an, that's an invented. That looks like the. Uh, this looks like an Italian version of the German Pack 44. Ooh, we don't have... So, so let's see, what's this? This is uh, light artillery, medium artillery, and heavy artillery, I presume. You've got a 75, a 100, and a 149. Where's that iconic... Ah, there it is. That's the iconic Italian heavy artillery gun. They only made like 50 of them, though. <laughs> so, not too great. Yeah. I'm surprised there's not nearly a siege artillery category. I'd put these two tens... In the siege category, something like that, siege artillery, yeah, because there's a huge difference between a 149 and a 210. Is this the is this the Breda 20 millimeter? Because I know there's the Breda uh, there's the Breda 20 millimeter and there's the Scotty 20 millimeter. There is the yeah, there is the uh, 75 anti-aircraft gun. The barrel, uh, I guess, in this uh, altered history scenario, they've just made the barrel a lot longer on it. There is the 90 again. Oh damn! I didn't know Italy had 37s. Oh, this might be the Scotty 20mm. Ah, yeah, Scotty, there we are. Yeah, and that's the Breda. Nice. I think we'll grab this. Yeah, heavy artillery. Perfect. How much more expensive? Like, this is light artillery. Six. Oh, wow. Six, 15, and 26. Yeah. You can pump out four light artillery pieces for every. Yeah, more than four, just slightly more than four for every one of these you produce. That's aren't even that much better, though. Well, actually, no, on defense, they definitely are. Never mind. Yeah, no, never mind. I was looking at a uh, breakthrough. Yeah, that is significantly better. Now, an all purpose resource slot. Industrial development, of course. I don't know what we're going to do about the tanks because. It, it's, it's not a case of building more tank factories. Like, we need better tank technology so that we. So that we can actually produce cast tanks. Or not cast tanks. Welded tanks. Cast would be amazing. Welded tanks. If we could get welded tanks, we'd be doing really well. Production efficiency. Growth. Modified engines. Mm, we'll take care of that later. Industry and construction technology. Well, this is 35 techs, so or yeah, we're behind. Quality control, 5% production efficiency growth, please. Another all-purpose resource slot. How are we doing in terms of infantry, actually? Okay. Not doing too bad, we're not behind in anything. Ah, yes, the Carcano, 9138, the new version. Yeah, sort of barrel, different cartridge. We're going we're to try and make sure that we actually adopt that new cartridge in this timeline. Fully adopt that new cartridge and not end up going back to the older cartridge. Oh, we've got an infantry gun. Fantastic. M37 field uniform. Fiat Revelli M1914 heavy machine gun. I want to say heavy machine gun, I just mean in terms of its weight. It's not actually, you know, firing a 50 caliber projectile. 45 millimeter mortar. That's not great. Oh, yeah, here we go. Nice. Ah, the Breda M30. Good lord. It's, uh, not great. It's not great. Yeah, not great. It looks, looks pretty cool, though. Paratrooper equipment. Yeah, I do want paratroopers, to be fair. Alright, but we do not seem to be... 
particularly behind anything. Ah, oh, it's the FNAM 43. It's supposedly a last ditch Italian weapon, but it's still a high quality weapon. TZ 45, that looks Polish. Or, uh, it looks like that that one Polish submachine. I'm not even going to try and try to pronounce it. It's like BL something, and then it's like that's a C's and A's and W's. And I think there's a couple of J's in there. Uh, ah, Regera 39, that's a self loading rifle, yeah. Nice. I count on 9141. I need to watch uh, Ian's video on that. Oh, Brit, there's that weapon from uh, TNO. The uh, anti tank one in TNO. What even is that? It's a 60mm heat. Oh my. And there's a Panzer Shrek. We can just assume that we are gypsying that off the Germans. Ah, here we have a mechanized. Oh, here, the AS 42, yeah. Mechanized machine guns, mechanized mortars. Mechanized anti-tank and mechanized anti-air. The FA-44 in 1946. And there's a German Hanemag, yeah. Hmm. Nice. Ah, oh, the MAM-38, classic. I think we get a 50-round magazine for that. Solid Thurman, 20 millimeter. Nice. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're not behind here. Italian Army support units. How about us? Are we behind? Radio equipment, Yeah. That is uh, necessary to say the least. Oh, but it's still a year ahead of time, what? It says 36. It's right there on the 36 column. Okay, apparently not. How about this? Combat engineer, combat engineer motorized. Eh, I think we can leave that off for a while. Artillery, we went over. Italian tanks, yeah, what do we have? What do we have? We've got the CB29. L3, yeah, the tankettes, the series of tankettes. I'm not building any tankettes. We've got the L640, yeah. The 20mm. Got the L530, which actually appears to have a machine gun on it, which is better. M1139, right, with the hull mounted uh, 37mm. M1340 actually getting up to an actual tank now, although it is only 13 tons. 1940s, yeah, that that 47 can it is perfectly uh, acceptable for what we need. We just need good tactics. We need strong logistics lines, good training, good um, infantry, artillery, tank, air force coordination. We'll be fine. But we can start researching the P26 in 1940. Huh. That's odd. M1441, right. M1542, yeah, getting that long, uh, longer barrel 47. M1543, I'm not familiar with that. That, that looks like the hull off, the, off uh, one of the Semaventes. Yeah. Well, it's the same same chassis, just different uh, armor. M16, yeah, the, the Sahariano, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's the it's supposed to be the Italian cruiser tank. It's got the same gun as the M15, but it's got a better frontal plate. It's actually uh, well sloped. Oh, the P-30, yes. Okay, I want P-30s. I want P-30s with a 90mm gun. I think we'll probably go for heavy tanks then. Even though, like, this isn't actually all that heavy. It's a 26-ton tank. The T-34 was 34 tons. Well, the T-34-76 um, was 34 tons. 85 was even heavier. Engineering and advanced tech. Yeah, we better have a look. Consumer electronics, 50 political power. I don't think I've ever researched something to get political power before. Rockets, radio, yeah, okay, never mind, 37, radio 37, yeah, mechanical computing. That might be the best thing for us. Our Great War Army Doctrine, yeah, I know we have to finish off researching the World War One Doctrines before we can start researching the World War Two Doctrines. Infantry Doctrine, Artillery Doctrine, Mobile Doctrine, Battlefield Support, and Early Air Theories. Well, we've got all of the, all of, yeah, I think we've got these two done. We just have a few uh, resources left, left to go. Stormtrooper assaults. <laughs> They've got the Stormtrooper uh, helmet from Star Wars. Rolling barrage, infantry AT defenses, anti-tank traps. Inf tank already coordination, that seems really important. Yeah, I think I'll get that. 202 days. Oh, look at that, average navy. Rico Fernie. Large Air Force, lacking army strength, high tariffs. Ideas, nice. 
All right, so. What is that noise? Something is happening anyway. Now, updated the equipment and production. Yeah, we have to have a look at our production lines. What's uh, what's going on? A light bar? Yeah. Cancel all production of aircraft. I'm not producing bad aircraft. Uh, transport trucks. It's outdated. Okay, so what can we get in, in, in Bisum Transport Trucks 2? Yeah, here we go. The Fiat 626. Light artillery. We'll definitely need that. World War One field uniforms. That's unnecessary. We have the M37. Garrison maintenance. Okay. Fiat Revelis. Yeah, just get rid of the aircraft. That's not outdated, that's good to know. Cavalry horse equipment, yeah, we already have one of those. Though these production lines are at full efficiency. Yeah, no. Mountain warfare equipment, uh, that's mountain warfare equipment one, I'll have to get mountain warfare equipment two. If we can put our eyes on it. There we are. Alpha Romeo, Mountain Artillery, Recon Equipment, there's that Breda 20. Uh, yeah, that's all fine, a lot of these ships will be obsolete, that's fair enough. I'll tell you what we'll do is, uh, actually no, what we'll do is, everyone, go small. That's a lot of ships, nice, 22 dockyards to start off. We'll move all sorts of transport vehicles down here. Uh, I think like this. Yeah, we'll have horse transport. Then we'll have the small vehicles and the big vehicles and the trains. Nice. We'll have rifles. L yeah, I'm not producing tank yet. Not hope. That is the light artillery, yes? Light artillery too? Oh, okay. Uh, Fear or Valley as well. That's a machine gun, so we'll move it up here. Support equipment, Ooh, where to put that? Tell you what we'll do actually, we'll put all the equipment together. All the cavalry equipment, garrison equipment, all of that stuff. Mountain warfare equipment, okay. Recon equipment, yeah. We'll put mountain warfare equipment on top because mountains are tall. Something like that. Brixia model, that's the mortar, right. Then all kinds of artillery. Uh, are we? What are we missing production of? Uh, it'll tell us here. Medium artillery. And infantry guns, okay. Infantry guns here, the 65 millimeter. From 1917, that's not great, I have to say. <coughs> well, we'll bring them down here, we'll put them, yeah, we'll put them above the transportation. We'll have infantry guns first. Will we have mountain guns first? Yeah, we'll have mountain guns for us, because again, they're on top. Uh, bring the light artillery down here, as well. And medium artillery, was it? Yeah, medium artillery, okay. Medium artillery here, 100 millimeter. Again, 1917, but what can you do? Actually, no, 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 that, that's model 1914, because yeah, the 17 is, is the length of a gun, then calibers. Uh, that's not great. Ah, that, that's even worse now. That's uh, 1913. Well, at least, at least that's 1934. That's pretty good. So, yeah, medium. We'll place that here like so. We'll put this above the artillery because it's a smaller caliber. Actually, get the uh, machine gun here as well. But I suppose this should probably be here. Okay. M37, yeah. And we'll drag this to the bottom of the equipments. Okay, okay. So that's that's everything we uh, we need, I believe. Now, yes, free military factory. So what what are we short of? Horse transport. Okay, we'll get another one of you. Uh, support equipment. Okay. Ooh, not more equipment. Desperately short. M thirty sevens too. Why don't we do that? Yeah. There we go. A little bit short here too, get that. Another one here. The Alfa Romeo. Yeah. Gonzo. There we are. Now, we need to get some resources. Who will actually give us 
Resource. Uh, first of all, how many resources do we have? 79 aluminium and 111 steel. Good lord, we are not doing well. Chromium. Gonna trade with someone. Remember, we're playing this completely straight. Um, Axis Italy. We're not going for, you know, our own faction. You know, we're not fighting Germany. We're not doing any of that. We're playing it completely straight. War in North Africa. War in East Africa. Well, uh, maybe not completely straight. I, I really don't want to invade Greece because it's just, it's just such a bad idea. And it's mountainous terrain. And it's just another theatre to fight in. Oh, we're also not, yeah, we're also not sending troops to the Soviet Union. I'm not sending 265,000 men to the Soviet Union like Italy did IRL. God, good lord. Italy was just everywhere IRL. East Africa, Libya, Greece, Balkans, France, Soviet Union, Mediterranean. There's too many places. I was, I was looking up the East African campaign. They lost like 230,000 men to, to capture. It was so bad. Though a lot of them were indigenous. Rubber. Who will give us rubber? So Cyan, they make sense. That makes sense. They're going to join the Axis. Steel. Uh, Germany is the obvious uh, choice here. Chromium. Uh, Sweden. Cuba. British Raj. Yugoslavia. Turkey. Greece, maybe. Might, I might have to fight them, though. I really don't want to, though. Go on, so we'll go Greece. Now, free civilian factories, yeah. How many air bases do we have? How large are they? 100 and 300. Oof, that's not great now, I have to say. I think I would like some air bases. Oh, hey, look at those sounds. Nice. Let me hear them again. Nice. Yeah, I would like some air bases, please. Oh, you can only build up to level 6. And then honestly, you... maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe not Somaliland. Actually, not quite Somaliland. There we are. What kind of aircraft do we have here? Light bombers, light fighters, and CAS. Okay, it's so, yeah. Somehow you're actually uh, over the hundred. What do we have here? Multi rolls. I assume, I assume that's multi roll, is it? MB. No tactical bomber. Oh, medium bomber. My bad. It's a B, not an R. Light bomber, carry, oh, no, close air support, and light fighters. Okay, perfect. Nice, we have over 300 aircraft in Abyssinia. It's not enough, though. Uh, what else is to get in order? Updated equipment, yeah, that's fine. Insufficient resources, we'll get them. Yes, it's probably worth having a look at our decision, see what we have. The naval treaties, of course, propaganda efforts, war measures, requisition trucks, round up horses. Nice. Increase funding to the League of Nations. Diplomatic efforts. One of the main tasks of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is the uh, positive external presentation of us and the deepening of our relations with countries around the world. Our foreign ministry attaches great importance to these, and the brightest ministering minds are working out plans day after day on how we can increase our foreign influence. At the same time, embassies abroad are also good starting points for other activities that are more likely to take place in secret. Note that the trade of your foreign minister will impact the likelihood of that of the kind of effort undertaken. Ah, I see. So if we were to get the likes of Roberto Farinacci, I imagine it would literally just be all... Um, you know, Axis diplomacy. I mean, Chiano, I'm quite satisfied with Chiano. I know, I know Chiano is, uh, you know, second to Mussolini and not Balbo. And there is a rivalry between the two, but I'm fairly satisfied. I'm not going to spend 150 political power just to uh, change it. Or maybe I will. Who knows? Speaking of Balbo, where is our, uh, like, chief of army and all that? Been able to sign those. Allied anger. Oh! With every increase, the bonuses increase proportionally. Just Justifying war will increase Allied anger regularly, and a declaration of war will set the Allied anger to max out for 180 days. Oh, okay. Hmm. It's not great now, I have to say. Ethiopian War Logistics gains the price for building fast, which grants 2% consumer goods for 42 days. Eritrea gets one level of infrastructure and one level of naval, naval base, as does the Somaliland. 
We might have misjudged the logistics situation for our glorious conquest of Ethiopia. We must make it our primary goal to, pro to provide our brave troops with the necessary supplies on their march to victory. Okay. Oh, 40.93 million people. Okay. 43 million total, but uh, 40.93 in cores. 31 states. Just look party details. Oh. Conservatism, liberalism, public controlism, agrarianism, bundle of sticksism, redism, monarchism, and authoritarian. What do we have here? Moderatism. Classical liberalism. Classical liberalism is in the conservative. What? Social conservatism. Roberto de Bellis. What? Okay. I think this is just nationalism. Yeah. Centrism. Center-right. Libertarianism. Social liberalism. Progressivism. Democratic Party. Nationalism. National liberalism. Social democracy. Syndicalism. Kamalism. Anarcho-syndicalism. Anarcho-public controlism. Farmers Party, Peasant Party, Industrialization, Agrarian Public Controlism, Pacifism, Natsakism, Strasserism, Bundle of Sticksism, Legionarism, Phalangism, National Revolution, Rexism, uh, Taisei Yoku Sankai, British Union Bundle of Sticksists, Early Maoism, Maoism, Bund Beardism, Leninism, Trotskyism, Stalinism, Titoism, National Redism, Anti Revisionism, Absolutism, Emirates, Imperial, Populism, Theocracy, Provisional Government, Military Dictatorship, Authoritarian, Bundle of Sticksist Elements. Oh, there's the uh, the French Axe, yeah. National Revolution, okay. Pan-Arabism, Despotic, Oligarchic, Moderatism, People's Tutelage, Corporatism, League of Nations Mandate, and Reactionism. Wow, that's quite a lot. Oh, here's the control panel again. Oh, look at this. I'm not going to touch this at all. Hmm. I like anger. That's interesting. <coughs> well, I suppose we'd better... Yeah, yeah, we're doing that. That's perfect. Minimum consumer goods, yeah. With our current 25% minimum consumer goods, we can dedicate another 18% to our construction efforts. Okay. Again, there's a nice guide on, uh, on Black Ice's Steam page if you want to... Uh, it's long, it's good. 43% consumer goods, okay. Oh, it's fine. How large is our army? 724,000 men! My god! I, uh, used to kind of starting as Italy is at, at like 250,000 max. Starting with three quarters of a million men is quite impressive. 40,000 men in the Air Force, 31,000 in the Navy, 40,000 in garrisons. Is significant, isn't it? Uh, I suppose, yeah, we'll get the cast because the cast is like, you know, that's what it's built to do. We'll start getting our resources. Air wings, that's fine. No enemy cipher being decrypted. Yeah, obviously, we gotta go for that British cipher. 700 days, fantastic. We'll have it for World War II. Splendid. I wonder if you can change ciphers in this mod. Oh yeah. I mean, that may, makes perfect sense. Uh, changing ciphers. Ciphers were changed all the time. Um, yeah, that is... I think that is good. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this series, because... Oh, just Malta. We are going to swarm it, lad. I, I can just... I, I can envision it now. Italian Folgore dropping... With their rifles and their submachine guns, while the big guns of the Regia Marina support them, while Italian Marines hit the beaches, and while just overwhelming air support pummels the island. Malta, if Malta does not fall, we will lose. I, or maybe we won't, but I'm pretending that we will lose if we do not do not take Malta, because Malta is... That was 20, 41,000 people in Malta? Malta is incredibly important. If we can take Malta, we can basically block all Allied shipping... By just like these, like this small straight here. Like, there's probably a name for it, but I just don't know it. Um, uh, where's the. Yeah, I think it's uh, here in the. If I want to nail the whole thing. Yeah, Straits of Sicily. If we. Expect, like, even, even if we didn't have a navy, even if we just had air power, like, if we build coastal artillery on this province and in Marsala, we put up our navy here, we. Bring in our air force. 
they will have an incredibly tough time breaking through here. It, it, it is just... We can block them. And we can basically... Even if we cannot take Gibraltar, um, we can basically make it irrelevant. And they'll have to go the long way around um, the Horn of Africa in order to get here. Because if we can just... Oh, if we can choke them, we do well. Of course, we are armed with the most powerful weapon of all, and that is the fact that we know that we're going to war in 1940. <laughs> you know, actually, I'm undecided whether I'll make it September 39 or uh, June 1940, as it was in our own timeline. Um, and maybe September 39 holds a better, uh, you know, element of surprise, something like that. At the same time, though, June of 1940 gives me another um, nine months to build up, which may be very well needed. Well, I suppose we'll have to make the decision near the time. Uh, now, what else? Yeah, we're going to bring down our Air Force. We're going to build up the... Uh, oh, yes, the Navy. The Navy, the Navy, the Navy. Squadra de Mar Rosso. Squadron of the Red Sea, right? Yeah. I think I'll probably just do what I usually do and just merge you all again. Escort. What class is that? Is that I, is that smaller than destroyer? I imagine it probably is. Anyway, well, this is what we'll do. What admiral do we have? What, what admirals do we have? Oof. That's a lot. Fantastic. Umberto Bucci. Or Buki? Bucci? Not too sure. Gunnery expert, that is pretty good. Spotter, yeah. Sea Eyes of Sea Wolf, fantastic. Blockade runner. Yeah, I think you can handle that. Uh, and then we'll get... We'll get Vincenzo DeFeo to handle the submarines. Oh, oh there. Now, Formazione. the forces in Africa. What marshals do we have? I'm excited to see. And generals, too. We've got Marshal Pietro Bagdoli, of course. Italo Balbo, level 3. Fantastic. Uh, oh, but uh, this is a historical man. He's going to die, isn't he? Oh. I'm not looking forward to that. Field Marshal de Bono, of course. He was one of the four quadrumvirs, I believe. It was him, Balbo. Oh, shite. I'm going to forget it now, ain't I? The, yeah, it was, it was him, Balbo, the guy with the big nose, and one other. Whose name I can't remember. Anyway. I, I do want to play with Balbo. I really do. But, uh... He's going to die. So we'll go for De Bono. Uh, we'll guess Amadeo de Savoia. It only makes sense for uh, de, de Savoia to serve in Abyssinia because he's going to be ruling it. Pronto. Oh, we have far more men up here. 183,000. Fantastic. What marshals can we get? Bagdolio. I'm not using Bagdolio. I know I can't use Balbo because there's, there's no point using Balbo because he'll die. Uh, Graziani, yeah, I'll probably make you a marshal as soon as I can. Mm. I'll use Bagdolio. With Graziani. As, oh, we have to split you up, that's fine. We'll get uh, Pietro Gazera. Now, get you on the border, or rather on the front line. Pronto. 
Il signore. Uh, I think that's about it, all that we can do. I don't intend on bringing up any more divisions. Um, I think we'll be able to win with what we have here. And plus, uh, means less manpower being lost, less equipment being lost, less money spent. Uh, but I do definitely intend on a colossal escalation in the number of aircraft being used, and must, as much support as possible. Uh, when it comes to the Navy, um, just come to... I'm surprised that's not a better port. Uh, yeah, come to Sicily. Come to Sardinia. I think there's that about... Yes, these are our uh, stockpiles of resources which we can increase. Production, recruit, and deploy logistics. Officer Corps. Actually, yeah, Officer Corps might be a good idea to have a look at that and see if anything's changed. It looks different, but I don't think it has changed. Oh, never mind. It has changed. It's very much changed. Oh, wait. Oh, here is our... Here we go. This is where we can assign our Chief of the Army. Fantastic. Ah, oh, here he is. Italo Balbo. All weather genius, so true. Uh, what to do? Yeah, but we'll have a look at that one once we actually have some experience to spend. But all right, lads, I hope you enjoyed this introductory video. Wow, it's almost an hour long. Yes. Uh, but it's a new mod, and there's quite a lot going on in this mod, so it's uh, fitting that it's so long. But if, if you enjoyed this episode, and if you enjoyed the series, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the comment section of this video. I shall see you in the next video, but until then, goodbye.